Good morning. Good morning. So we thought today would, uh, you know, we mm -hmm. had a little chat yesterday about uh, everybody's trying to get back in the groove, get uh, get going for the new year, new year, new you, and all of that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know, we were chatting a wee bit about how sometimes the thing that we really try to do is to cut back and do more exercise, and how that, in the long run, can really be detrimental to us. But we thought today we'd have a little chat about snacking. snacking. And uh, I'm sure uh, you're trying at this time of year, like so many others, to pick good snacks. Snacks that uh, are going to be healthier snacks <laughs> and help you to get back into a uh, better place <laughs> after all the indulgences over Christmas time. So when we think about better snacks, what is it that we mostly I think the on. thing is we're really trying to move away when we think about better snacks we're thinking about how can I avoid having these endless sweets and chocolate and biscuits and crisps and on all of that <laughs> stuff that we know we really shouldn't be snacking on um, and sometimes we tend to think about well what is the lowest number of calories that I can have in my snack uh, that will just you know tide me over for the next wee bit um, and sometimes that really backfires you know you, you think about something that's uh, really low in calories but actually mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's usually low in nutrition as well and so something that only has a very few number of calories it doesn't really satisfy you that well it doesn't give you much in the way of nutrition it actually makes your body burn fewer calories overall so the snack that seemed quite good then doesn't look so promising after <laughs> you, you sort of look at it from that point of view so um, so we need to think of some better sort of a snack, a snack really that's going to give you a nice hit of nutrition uh, and it's going to not make you hungry. And you know sometimes uh, people think well you know I'm trying to be healthier and being more focused I'm going to have fruit for my snack um, mm. and so that can seem like a really good option because it's got a bit more nutrition in it um, and it's got natural sugars rather than all of those uh, junky sugars um, but one of the things that we know about fruit is it's one of the least uh, satisfying foods that we can eat so although it's definitely a little bit healthier than some of the other things um, it doesn't keep us feeling full for very long so one of the things that food can actually mm -hmm. cause is a trigger response that you need to eat more fruit and more fruit or you go looking for another snack um, and so you know although it's, mm -hmm. it's healthier than uh, some other options it doesn't help us become a better fat burner and this is one mm -hmm. of the things we really want to try to do is to become a better fat burner well the <sighs> excellent thing about becoming a better fat burner is that you actually don't feel the need for snacks anymore. I mean, we used to think about snacks, so <laughs> snacking, snacking, snacking. Every couple of hours, you're looking for something to keep you going. But actually, uh, the thing that we want to be searching for and finding is how to become a better fat burner. Because when you do that, when you run out of fuel that you've eaten, uh, your body just naturally taps into your own fat stores and carries on supplying itself with all the energy that it needs without needing any snack. And so no snacks are better than some snacks <laughs> when you're a fat burner. But if you're not a good fat burner, then if you run out of fuel, oh my goodness, you're in big trouble. Uh, you're going to be like hangry. Have you heard of that? Hangry. Or hangry you word, that hangry? And you sort of lose all sense of niceness. All your... Uh, <laughs> Beware the hangry woman. <laughs> the person that seems so nice and pleasant then turns into a monster. And say, well, where, did, where did they come from? Happy New Year, Maureen. <laughs> Hi there. So um, we really want to focus in on becoming better fat burners so you don't even notice, you don't notice hunger in the same way. All of those hunger and cravings that you would normally experience in the day, they just disappear and your need for snacks also disappears. But most people are not really there. So we're really thinking about what type of snacks we might be thinking of having in the meantime. So if you're looking for snacks that are going to help you ultimately become a better fat burner, some of the things that uh, you might want to think about is, you know, if you snack on, for example, a little bit of chicken with a bit of cheese, that's mostly protein and natural fat. So that's going to be more satisfying than uh, just, a, for example, a little mandarin orange or something. Um, things like um, raw nuts, um, now they're a combination of protein, 
fats and uh, carbohydrates. But again, that's much better than say the packet of crisps. So that's that's a good uh, advance. Um, something and like something some, like even some of the the natural yogurt, the uh, high protein yogurt is quite a nice uh, thing to have for a snack. It's very filling. You can add uh, one or two uh, berries into that for a nice bit of flavour. You want to go for the natural one. And something like that can be really filling and really help to tide you over while, while you become a better fat burner. And so, you know, if you can start to get the snacks a little bit better and you find that they fill you up properly and keep you going for longer, it also means that your energy will be maintained better. And, you know, the better we get at all of this, then the better fat burners we become. And when you become a really great fat burner, that's when you tap into unlimited energy supplies, which is absolutely fantastic. And that's so. when you really uh, release those calories from your own body and you don't need to count those calories at all. You just take them straight, straight <laughs> out of your own body stores. So that really is the place we want to be. Um, our energy is the best there. Our body functions really well. We can focus in on getting the right levels of nutrition in and really feeling fantastic. And then the, the thoughts of snacks are a bit... Yep, you, and in fact, you get, to the, point, you get to the point where it's like, oh, it, it must be dinner time. We, we really must get something. So, uh, you know, it, it's, it's amazing. Sometimes your life can be driven by the thoughts of what are you going to eat next? What can you have to keep you going? But it's very, very freeing when you get past that. So um, think about your snacks today. Try to choose some better snacks that will help to keep you on track. Um, or kept to keep you satisfied for longer and once you've got to that point <laughs> where you're fat burning and you no longer uh, need the snacks yes you can choose one from time to time if you want it mm -hmm. but you're no longer relying on it it's absolutely amazing okay so enjoy that and high five to all the fat burners and let's <laughs> all get there we'll feel so much better when we do okay bye for now speak to you soon